Hey guys, work here. Welcome back to the bench. So if you follow my Instagram page at all, you probably know by now that I got a new comp for my AR-15. Now what I've been using up until now is this super generic comp. Now this thing works like a charm. It does a really good job of compensation. And I got it off of Amazon for like 25 or 30 bucks. You can actually find a tactical cheap shit about this and I'll post a link to that somewhere up here. So the reason that I'm swapping out my comp, reason number one, the last time we were out shooting at the anvil, my buddy and I were doing some side-by-side -side drills and this comp was beating the crap out of him. The muscle blast from this thing was just pounding him. So I decided to go with something that should minimize that a little bit. The second reason is this thing is pretty plain. It doesn't look all that fantastic. It does the job, it just doesn't quite fit with the rest of my rifle. And the third reason is I just kind of wanted a name brand comp on this thing. So what did I go with? I went with the Strike Industries J Comp V2. Now I am really impressed with Strike Industries. Strike seems to be one of the only companies that is really being innovative with smaller accessories for the AR-15s. They've got grips, safety levers, magazine releases, bolt catches, and they're all all unique items. So if you guys have a chance sometime, check out Strike Industries. Now for today, what we're going to end up doing, we're going to remove my old comp, and we're going to end up putting on the J comp. So we're going to see two different ways these compensators are locked onto the barrel in this case. My old comp here is locked on with a jam nut. So with this, what I had to do was I put the jam nut on first and pulled it down to the barrel, and then I threaded the comp on, got it aligned in the proper orientation, and then threaded the nut back up against the compensator. And what that did was that locked it in place, along with a little bit of thread lock. So the difference is the Strike Industries J comp actually uses a crush washer. Now this is a method that I much prefer. It doesn't leave this gap here, it, co it covers all the threads, and it should, in theory, be a better fit. I I'm also going to use a little bit of thread lock with this as well. First things first, we need to get this old comp off. So let's go ahead and break this thing down. You can find the steps for that in one of my Teardown Tuesdays up here. Now I have to pull the scope off this, because in order to do this, we need to go ahead and throw this thing in an upper vise. So first, let's go ahead and tear it down. Let's go ahead and get the scope off here. We're going to have to pull the back side as well. For this, I'm going to break out my Winchester kit. The reason that I'm going to break this kit out, this kit has some extremely wide standard fittings so that I can use the entire width of these to actually crank on this. Okay, so there's the sight. And that is English, so let's grab the English set. It's definitely a loose English, but... Alright, so now we've got the rear side off, I've got my scope off, now we can grab my vice block. Let's go ahead and pull this door here. This is actually another Strike Industries piece. Okay, with that out of the way, I'm going to see if I can get this thing situated over in the vice somehow, and we'll go from there. Okay guys, so I've got this thing super cobbled in here, but it should do well enough. What we're going to do first, we're going to go ahead and break this old comp loose, and of course, since it is generic, our normal AR-15 tools won't work on it, so instead we've got to kind of cobble stuff together. Alright, so there's our old one. Let's go ahead and pull it off. Now, this comp has actually done me pretty well in the past. I really like this thing, but I'm not sure what I'm going to end up doing with it. I don't have another 223 rifle right now. I'm either going to keep it for my next 223 rifle, or if I hit 500 subs in the next month, I'll go ahead and do a giveaway on it. Okay, so now that we've got the old muzzle device off, let's go ahead and get the new muzzle device on. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to install the crush washer. Now, as I said, I actually prefer crush washers over the jam nuts. Now you can kind of see the crush washer is a cone shape. It has a narrow side, and a large side. So the narrow side is actually going to go against the barrel. The large side is going to end up going against our muzzle device. So let's go ahead and place the crush washer on. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put on some Loctite. And I'm going to use red Loctite, the high strength Loctite. And for Loctite, you don't need a whole lot because as you thread with Loctite, it's actually going to spread that Loctite around the entire surface. So we're going to let that set for just a couple of minutes. And once that's tight, we're going to go ahead and hand tighten our muzzle device. So with that, the thread light's tight. Let's go ahead and hand tighten our muzzle device on. So now that this is hand tight, I can see about how much tightening I'm going to need to do. So our main ports here, the compensation ports, are 90 degrees to where they need to be. However, the top compensation ports are actually on this side of the rifle. Now with the top down here, because of the way that my vise works, that means I'm going to need to rotate clockwise about 270 degrees to get my ports in the right position. I'm going to use a little bit of paper towel in here to be able to separate the wrench from my muzzle device. Yes, I am kind of a pansy. Yes, this thing was cheap, but I don't want to scratch it up right off the bat. Then I'm just going to grab my wrench, tighten it down, and we're going to torque this thing into place. So as we torque, it's going to tighten and crush 
that crush washer in there and set this whole thing in place. So now we've rotated approximately 90 degrees. Our portholes that need to be on the top are now directly on the bottom. So we need to go another 180 beyond that. There's another 90. Now we will need one more 90 degree torque and we'll be all set. We give it the last little bit. Line everything up. And with that, we are finished. So let's go ahead and pull this thing off of here. Let's get everything back together and see what we've got here. Okay, so now that we've got our new comp on, let's go ahead and put everything back together, starting with the dust cover. One last bit here. Okay, I got the upper back together. Now let's go ahead and put the lower back on. We are finished. So that's how you put on a new comp. Now I'm really excited about trying out this Strike Industries J comp. This thing looks really good on this rifle. I think this thing fits my rifle so much better. I've heard wonderful things about it, and hopefully, with the two primaries and the hybrid flash hider up in front, it won't blast my buddy quite as much with that muzzle blast. So that's it for this time, guys. Remember, if you liked the video or found it useful, like and subscribe down below. Keep an eye out every Tuesday for Teardown Tuesdays. Keep an eye out Fridays for our standard reviews and everything else that we do. And until next time, do your research, get informed and get to work.